Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be creating an iOS app using Xcode, and then we're also going to use Windsurf. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a new project. And we're going to go ahead and click the uh, app here. Uh, you want, if you don't, if this isn't shown under your applications, just go to iOS and check app because we're going to be building an iOS app. Um, we are not going to be building a Mac app. Um, so let's just go ahead and click next. And I'm just going to name it to do. And I'm just going to name this actually my name here. Make sure you choose your team here. So if you're working with multiple, or you know, your name or your team, whatever you want this to be with, just make sure you choose the right thing. Uh, we're going to use Swift UI um, instead of storyboard. We're definitely using the Swift language. Um, and we are going to use the the newer the you know Swift testing with X. We probably we won't probably won't use this, but uh, we don't want to use the older one uh, with units and everything because that's Objective C. Um, we're going to use core data instead of the Swift data because this is for newer um, iOS. So if you don't have iOS 8, uh, 17 installed, if you got something older than that, it won't work. So we'll just stick with core data. Uh, we'll host in the cloud. Just I don't know if we'll actually use this, but uh, this will allow you to sync your devices. So if you have uh, multiple, you know, like an iPhone and an iPad and you want to sync them together with the same, uh, that'll allow that. So we'll just go ahead and click next and we'll just save it and uh guess uh let's see where do we want to save it i guess go into dev i'll just save it in this dev folder we'll create here um perfect all right so it's creating everything it's getting all your uh sort of default files ready um and then once it's finished with this, we will go ahead and move on. Now, if you don't have, um, you know, your 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 account set up, you can go to accounts right here and just set up your link up your iPhone account or your uh, Apple account. And of course, you'll have to go to Apple.com to do that. And it's getting the uh, preview ready using uh, iPhone Pro uh, 16 Pro. And uh, this may take a minute, so I'm going to pause the video while it does this. Okay, so our app um, is up and running, or rather the, um, the, well, the app is up and running in the uh, simulator here. So um, what we're going to want to do now is open up Windsurf, and we're going to open up the folder that this is in. So um, I'll put it in dev, and there's to do. Um, so perfect, we'll just open this up. And I'm going to trust. Okay. So perfect. Um, so I'm going to talk to, uh, when we want it to write, so we want it to be able to um, edit our files here. And so I'm going to go ahead and ask it to create a um, to-do uh, app. So we'll say um, this is a application generated by Xcode. Please use these files. I will say please use this to create a to-do application for iOS. All right. So we'll just go ahead and send that and see what it does. Let's move this over here. OK, so it's going to work here. Let's see what it's saying. So I'll help you create two app to do application for iOS. Uh, first, let me check the current structure of the project and let me explore the directory. So it's going in through the directory. It's, it's basically getting to understand 
what files are already here. Um, the current, current directory of the Swift, okay, the content view, which is what we're going to be just using to for our code. Um, so I'll now create the proper to do application, update the data model. Um, so I'm going to be using the data model um, to include total uh, to do specific fields, um, modify the content view to show to do items with titles, uh, completion status, and uh, let's see, add the ability to create to dos uh, with actual content. Let me start by updating the content view.swift file to create the proper to do interface. And uh, now I need, so it's it's going through all this. It needs our, to, us to accept it. So I'm just going to accept all. And uh, I've made several important changes, updated the uh, content view. So we can see it's created um, the code for the uh, to do application. Um, updated the persistence um, Swift, so it's going to be able to um, maintain our uh, our in, into the local storage here. Uh, core data model, so the core data model needs to be updated um, to include these new attributes. Title is complete. Timestamp. So this is awesome. Um, and let's see, the application now has these features. So it has add new to do with titles, mark to do as complete or incomplete, delete to do's by swiping left. Oh, that's awesome. And um, edit uh, model for managing uh, multiple to do's, clean modern UI with proper styling, a persistence of to do's uh, using the core data. So that's perfect. Um, and then sample data for preview mode. Um, would you like me to help? And of course, we've already accepted that. So let's go back over here and see what it's done. Okay, we've got a build file. So let's we're going to click this right here, and we're going to view our build file here. So let's see what it's done. Um, okay, it has no element. I'm just going to copy these. I'm just going to click on each one of these and copy them, and I'm going to say. I'm getting these errors. So we'll put, paste that one. Let's go down and just copy each of these so here. There. There. And last but not least, there. All right, we'll just go ahead and send this. Okay, so it needs to update the core data model. So we've got a database issue going on here in local storage. Um, close X code completely, reopen the project, do a clean build, uh, command shift K and uh, build a structure again. This will regenerate the core data. OK, so let's accept all here. Let's go back here. We're going to go ahead and close out the project. Just completely close Xcode. And let's see. Now let's, uh, let's open up a folder. Bring this over to do. OK, we're going to open up this right here. So I'm just going to double click this. OK, we've got an error. So let's do a clean rebuild, as it said. Clean build folder. Let's see if this cleans it out. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and build this in the emulator or simulator. So this may take a minute. Well, let's see if I have my, yeah, we'll just do the simulator for now. I'll go ahead and click this and build and we'll pause the video while it builds this. All right, so we have the, the to do app is actually showing now. So this is excellent. 
I did not do anything extra. I just let the uh, simulator load up here. So let's test it out uh, to do, well, to do one. Okay, let's click. All right, that looks really good. Let's add a second to do, to do two plus. Okay, that looks good. We check it complete, that's good. Let's see, edit. Okay, so it lets us delete it, so we can delete it. The swiping, uh, well, let's, let's cancel that. Let's, uh, let's check it. Sw yep, swiping lets us delete it. All right, so this is excellent. So uh, we have been able to create a actual iOS app um, and uh, we're using both Xcode and Windsurf to do it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe and like.